What's up, guys? So, um, obviously, a great, great start to the uh, to the day here. Uh, as you know, the the dapple has been going on uh, the issues with Standing Rock uh, up in North Dakota with the, the Sioux Indians and uh, trying to get this pipeline stopped because it was going to affect they feel their way of life, their heritage. Uh, burial sites on the way. I mean, this thing is massive. Now, it was 85% complete, and it is now, at, a, at as of now, on a standstill, as you can read the, the title there. Uh, Victory of the Pipeline has, uh, has basically been stopped so far. Um, and basically what happened was is the Army, the, the Army Corps engineers went ahead and announced that they're going to stop because it, it denied the final easement, if that's what you if you can read that, uh, stop the final easement uh, required for a $3.8 billion project to cross under Lake uh, Owehi in North Dakota. Uh, the Army said it will now explore alternative routes pending uh, environmental impact study. So, I think it's massive, 1,172 miles long. Awesome, awesome feat if they could do something like that, but maybe they can find a better way to do it now. Um, some of the images here were pretty cool. Uh, I enjoy a victory like this. Now, it is a small victory on the scale of they didn't say they weren't going to do it. All they did was say, hey, look, we're going to look for a different way because it caused so much ruckus. I mean, we had um, the community out there. Uh, we had uh, veterans out there. And this was, to me, a pretty awesome thing to see people come together. I mean, if you look at it, you had white brothers out there, black brothers, brown brothers, Asian brothers, yellow brothers, the red brothers, you know, obviously the Indians out there, everybody came together to support a, a specific movement. And uh, it was beautiful. And everybody there got a victory. Um, now, I know you're going to see stuff from like Tommy Lorraine soon. I'm surprised she hasn't posted today. Uh, a lot of white nationalists uh, are gonna come out and say, "Hey, they're gonna bash this complete. They're gonna bash this completely, and and uh, you're gonna really see some more hatred spew out of their mouth uh, for the indigenous and brown, blacks, yellows, reds, uh, and even the whites. I mean, their own kind. So uh, they're gonna spew some more crap out about what's going on. And people have already started with the comments. You know, people ultimately feel that the power of the law or the whatever power is to be is, is justified so they see things like this standing up to authorities as a negative and while i don't while i don't while i don't preach against i don't preach against people standing up uh against authority especially if you're in the wrong but you have to stand up for what you believe in and uh this is a perfect demonstration uh standing rock of how people felt certain strongly so so strongly about a certain way of, of life and and what they believed in that they were, everybody was able to come together collectively um, without any kind of violence on their part and uh, endure what they had to endure uh, from the law local law enforcement and stuff like that so like I said there were so many issues that were going on I mean people were being shot. Uh, of course, they didn't go out there with regular bullets, um, but they were the the police were armed with rubber bullets, and they were shooting pe individuals. They were shooting people. Um, reporters were getting shot who were covering stories. There were getting shot uh, with rubber bullets. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. Our veterans, thank God, um, for our veterans that that uh, fight that fought for our inalienable rights. Um, here and abroad, and they, they went there to show their respect and show that uh, indigenous people of this land uh, are justified in, in what they believe and that this is their land um, and it needs to be respected. So I'm glad that this was a great turnout. I'm glad that the victory, even though how small it is, is, uh, is a good thing. It's a step in the right direction. Uh, maybe now they can come back with um, better talks on how they can make something this massive uh, like this pipeline is going to happen. 
uh, make it happen the correct way and not just bulldoze over people and say, well, you know what? We're going to do it anyway, because uh, let's just be fair here. Donald Trump is about to get in office. And when he gets in office, an issue like this, I'm sure he has no tolerance for it at all. He's probably going to say, build the damn pipeline. If there's no other course, we're going to build the damn pipeline and they'll have to get over it. Why? Because that's how entitled he feels. Uh, you already heard him say that with the wall uh, where on Mexico, uh, he doesn't give a damn. He just wants the wall up. So um, not very, very much um, hope there uh, for these people. So a victory now is a, is a good way to, uh, to start off uh, negotiations on what could be with this pipeline later on. So, uh, like I said, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed uh, the slideshow here. Still, it's a ton of pictures, ton of pictures. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, whether you, you feel this was a good thing, bad thing, if you feel like it's inevitable, it's going to happen anyway, and, you know, ultimately your opinion. Uh, appreciate your thoughts, concerns, bitches, gripes, complaints, and, yeah, tell me how you feel. Well, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.